挂了，基本上来了。Another sunny day from Singapore. So today, um, I will do a food review at my home. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do a video on delivery food because basically in Singapore we cannot dine outside. So it's either you take away or you order online. And today I'm just going to do a review on delivery food because basically in Singapore we cannot dine outside. So it's either you take away or you order online. And today I'm just going to do a review on delivery food because basically in Singapore Okay, so for breakfast, I'm gonna order on Grab. Grab is basically the biggest taxi and food delivery app in Singapore. So I'm gonna select food. Look at all these food. I'm getting hungry already. <laughs> I don't know if this is just me, but I I just love looking at Grab food. Um, even when I had no intention of buying, I just randomly look and see see what's on there. <laughs> I'm a I'm a natural pig. Okay, meal number one. I was super excited for this. A uh, delivery from Toastbox. It's one of the best uh, popular food chain in uh, Singapore. Um, they they sell traditional Singapore coffee, uh, kaya toast. But I got their uh, drumstick braised pork rice plus laksa bundle. believe how good my room smells. <laughs> okay, so to start it off, I'm gonna drink the popular kopi o. So Singapore is one of the... Oh cool, they even have a paper wrap here. It's one of the most difficult country to order your coffee because there's so many, so many types and if you order coffee, normal coffee, they will put like sugar and milk inside. It makes no sense. So, the Japanese salary man or black coffee people are often famous for it. Kopi o kosong, it is called. So, if you order black coffee, it will come out. Ah, mmm, thick, fragrant, it, and it's slightly nutty. I love Singapore coffee. It's, ah, it's very comforting. And this is the barley tea. This is also something you cannot really get in Japan. So I'm gonna start my feast with kaya toast and tausar pia. This kaya toast is in Singapore, and it's one of the most popular and popular breakfast in Singapore. It's too bad it's not crispy anymore, but mm, so creamy, the butter is so creamy. So sick, the sweet, fragrant kaya jam, and I like it how it's slightly salty. You get more dimension to the taste. Not the healthiest because, as you can see, there's tons of butter, <laughs> but it's addictively good. Okay, finally the main food. I wish my room always smelled like this. <laughs> so I got the the laksa, and I think this is something similar to the the, the Taiwan's uh, braised pork belly rice. And look at this humongous chicken leg. So this is laksa, the national dish of Singapore. Um, I like how they uh, divided the soup and the, the noodles. So, th so the noodles are very interesting. Uh, they use these small noodles, uh, rice noodles. They kind of look like slugs. It's not like a And the soup, yeah, I can tell it's fragrant, spicy, lots of coconut. So I think I'm gonna pour the whole soup into the noodles. And I like it how you don't even need chopsticks because the noodles are cut into small bits of pieces. Mm. Oh wow, it's spicy. The broth is super creamy, aromatic, spicy. I love the coconut. And what I like about most about this dish is the, the noodle. It's just so plump. And I also like how they have all these different ingredients. Of course, I wouldn't say this is like the best laksa I had in Singapore, but the quality is amazing for a for a coffee chain. In the prawn. 
I'm satisfied already. <laughs> what a great, great day. So most of you guys are probably, you know, kind of bored, uh, tired at home. I recommend you to get nice food. Um, that will make your day. <laughs> and I already ordered something very exciting for lunch and dinner. So, ぜひ最後まで動画見てみてください。その前に。Look at this chicken leg. It's humongous. The chicken is not the tenderest, but you can still pull it off easily with your fingers. This is a very tasty chicken. And the last dish is rubo fun. It's braised pork rice. Let's see if it's good. It's a Taiwanese dish, by the way. Mm. Oh wow. I love, I love the fragrance. The distinct sweetness from the spice. And the cucumber is crunchy. This is a great comfort meal. What a amazing breakfast and already an amazing day. <laughs> Delicious food will enlighten your day, guys. And I will see you at lunchtime. Lunchtime. So for lunch, I got two bentos from Mamezon. It's a popular um, yoshokuyasan, uh, Japanese western and uh, tonkatsu. They are available for takeaways and uh, food deliveries, like Grab and Food Panda. All right, this is it. I'm super excited because the smell is incredible. I think I'm gonna start with the, the tonkatsu. I'm guessing it's not gonna be that crispy because it's delivery. Wow, look at this beautiful cut of meat. Utsukushi. I'm like a meat eater. So first, the meat is not cooked. Hmm, it's crunchy. Hmm, it's crunchy. Taste it with cabbage. Now I'm gonna dip it into this tonkatsu sauce. It's a bit sweet and savory. Mm. I'm so happy I ordered this. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with tonkatsu. The sauce is vinegary, sweet, salty. So much flavor to it. Oh. I wasn't expecting this to be that crispy and Good. <laughs> Next, the karaage. So there's actually a tip when you're uh, squeezing a lemon. So the food experts in Japan will tell you to squeeze the lemon with the, the skin facing down. So the lemon juice will flow down the skin, adding more uh, acidity and a nice lemon kick. And I like to chase it with Kemono, pickles. Okay, my second bento. Yes, I do eat a lot. It's called Beef Stroganoff Bento Box. The price is $16.80. It consists of butter rice, omelette, beef cubes, fried chicken, mushrooms, brown sauce, and potato salad. I would say this is like a very typical Japanese Western dish. And you can tell the egg is super fluffy. This, this brown sauce has this very special, delicate taste. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's very fragrant. And the rice, it's not just plain rice. I taste a lot of butter and some uh, seasonings. And I like it that the omelette is still soft and fluffy. They made it like, I think like one hour ago and it still retains the fluffiness. So the best way to eat it is uh, you get some egg, some rice, and the beef cubes. Eat everything in one bite. Overall, very buttery, beefy, satisfying meal. As I said earlier, good food will make your day. So. If you like Japanese food or if you want to try a Japanese Western, it's, it's a very popular uh, type of cuisine in, in Japan. You can order for takeaway and delivery. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
Of course the circuit breaker and this whole virus sucks, but one good thing, there are more restaurants on Grab. And that is a that is an awesome thing. I love eating. Dinner time. I was so excited for this because um, the owner of Chikuyote, it's a very traditional, super old unagi restaurant from Japan. They have two outlets in Singapore, and the owner, uh, we're good friends, he sent me some food to review. And look at all this food. Like, do you know how happy I was when I, when I was just carrying this? Paper bag number one. Got some 305 grams of I think it's pork and wow this <laughs> oh my god this this looks amazing it's beef tongue and I also got some wow it's like a it got like a mi mini yakiniku set here and here is unagi don unagi on rice and this is the okazu set this is the shabu shabu set so they also send you this instruction. It's written both in Japanese and English, so you don't have to be confused on how to make this. So first I'm gonna boil some water and put this piece of kombu inside. So before putting on the fire, I'm supposed to wait for 30 minutes, so... その間にこれですね。こいつらの準備をします。So this is a spare rib of Kagoshima Kuro Buta. It's a very high quality uh, branded black pork in Japan. So it's already marinated, so all you have to do is put it in the oven toaster and grow it for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, next. I think I'll cook the tongue and the karubi. I'm sweating, man. It's, <laughs> I'm getting so busy. Look at these beautiful cuts of meat. Wow, I like the package. So I think my pan is ready. Start from the tongue. Wow. Mechakcha warakai, wakaru kana kore. Ii oto. Oh, mo, mo ii iro. Wow, it's amazing. Yes, they're ready. It's very important not to overcook it. Ooh, oh, it's so... And next, the kalbi. Now that looks amazing. Okay, um... Oh, I'm so busy. Oh, I'm so busy. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna start out with this. これが僕のベストのあの盛り付けです。ごめんなさい、なんかあんまりあんまり綺麗じゃなくて。Wow, super tender and the and the sauce, the tongue sauce is dripping. Wow, this is delicious. It's so so tender, but なんだろう、ちょっとやっぱあの食感がいいんですよね、タンだから。so apparently they use the deep part of tongue, so it's the most highest quality. Now the karubi. Smells amazing. <laughs> so fatty. And I love the sauce. Um, they marinate it with, um, I think it's soy sauce base. I taste some garlic. I need some beer. <laughs> but uh, today I have um, shochu. Imo Jochu desne. So oh yeah, he gave me some um some 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 soda water. So let me open this first. Wow. Just send me a whole bottle. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ano Nakachan san. I'm enjoying your food so far. Um it's called Hakat. 
。漢字が苦手です。<笑>えっと、まずじゃあ。プッサン。で、ご焼酎。It's really beautiful. Super clear. Then you put some soda. Cheers to a long, great day. I just love the, the fragrance. Wow. It's,、um, it's on the sweet side, but perfect match with any of these Japanese dishes. Perhaps my favorite bite. You know, they say the best parts are always near the bones. You guys have to get this. <laughs> High quality, restaurant quality meat delivered, delivered to your doorstep. Look at how thick this tongue is. But it's very thick. Do you know what it is? Wow. Super tender. Okay, and the next one I was very excited to try. So it's called Kagoshima Kurobuta Spare Ribs.、Uh, it's black pork. And it says here that black porks are sweeter than the normal white porks, and they go well with this shochu. So, apparently, it's a very popular、uh, menu of chikuyote.、Um, chikuyote is a, it started as a unagi restaurant, but they have all these different k i n d of、uh, Japanese cuisine. So, I cooked it in the oven toaster for around 20 minutes, and I left it outside for 10 minutes. So, so it will cook the inside itself. Yeah. Wow. I was a little worried if, it's,、uh, if, if it will be rare, but it's cooked perfectly. <laughs> no, this is marinated perfectly. And the meat, it's so, it's so sweet. I wouldn't say it's the tenderest, but it's super good. It's on the sweet side, so it matches perfectly with this imojochu. What a great day! <laughs> I've only been eating the whole day. And it's, it's amazing. Now I think I'll try the meat near the bone. Mmm! Wow. It's way more fattier and tastier. Okay, final ones are unagi. So, I'm a big fan of chikuyote's unagi, so I know it's good, but I never had it in bento. Just cutting it with my chopsticks, I already know it's super fluffy and tender. Mm. The same old chikuyote taste. I like to chase it with the pickles it adds a crunch. But I always like sprinkling sancho on it. Sancho is a、uh, Japanese peppercorn. It's very fragrant,、uh, it's nummy, and it adds a beautiful kick to the taste.、Mm. So much better. This is so beautiful. See so many cutters of bamboo,、uh, asparagus,、uh, tempura, karaage, a humongous prawn. It's so beautiful. I want to cut it in this way. First, the middle is this one. I think it's like a, some kind of a bamboo. Ah, it's good. It's good. I think I'll try the tempura. Humongous prawn. So they also give you this tempura sauce you can dip in. Mmm. And I wonder what this is. Oh, it's pork belly. Wow, like Otakara Sagashita gave it. It looks so tender and beautiful. Mmm. Okay, so our final dish is the shabu shabu. Kagoshima Kurobuta Shabu Shabu set. And this is a set for two, and it only costs like $48. Very affordable. The Guzai is Kurobuta no Bara, and the Momo Niku, the Yasai Tachi, the Tokse no Niku Dango, the Tairo no Negi, and the Yuzu Kosho. First impression beautiful. Um, if you have rice, that will be enough for two people. And I like how the meatball has like lots of、uh, fatty parts. And yeah, I think it's ready. Ooh, take out the kombu.、Uh, they, they also gave you this,、um, I think it's a type of、uh, soup. 特製の返しって書いてますね
and um, you're supposed to warm it up and put these these uh, green onions and some yuzu kocho. And time to shabu shabu. So I think I'm gonna um, put in the the meatball first because it takes time to cook. Ato wa eringi to ka. Ah, nagaregi mo jikan kakarimasu ne. This is a humongous shiitake. Oh, it's already, it's already like almost cooked. Incredibly sweet. Sweetness from the pork. So it's And I like it that they give you lettuce to shabu shabu, which is like not really common. Might be my first time uh, shabu shabu in a lettuce. Mm. Oh yeah, I love the crunch. Mmm. Naganegi. One of my favorite vegetables. で、これが多分バラ肉の方かな、しゃぶしゃぶして。うん。ほら、脂肪分部分が溶けるんですよね、口の中で。で、お肉も甘くて柔らかくて、ちょっと食感もあって。で、これお肉もすごい量ですよ